This is California Adventure at the Disneyland Resort. And today I'm gonna attempt to ride every single ride at this park in less than five hours. It's 7.30 in the morning and we're going on this. There's no one in line. I think we could do this in less than four hours. We have come to a temporary stop. What? All right, we're heading straight for Guardians of the Galaxy. We should be the very first people on this ride. I actually cannot feel my toes right now. It's so cold. A minute and 14 seconds in, I kind of left Jeffrey behind in the dust. Jeffrey, will catch up. Are you even prepared to do this ride this early? Nah. No. <laughs> so the thing about these two rides is that they both have pre-shows. This, this one and Spider-Man. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit. We gotta do this and Spider-Man and Maters in 30 minutes. Okay, it's starting. Six minutes in, we're heading on our first ride. We're literally going to be the very first people on this ride. I don't even think I'm mentally prepared for this right now. It's 7.30 in the morning and we're going on this. It's Groot! Ah! Hey, it's the test kitchen! All right, we gotta get Spider-Man like right now. So it took us 13 minutes to do Guardians. If it takes us another 13 minutes to do Web Slingers, we should have like three minutes to spare to do Maters. That might be just enough time. We're gonna see. The rotation's going by so quickly because I think not many people are doing this ride. We are literally the only people in here. Now we're gonna talk to Tom Holland. Hey, what's up, I'm Peter. What's up, Peter Parker? I'm gonna go crazy on this Web Slinger, watch this. Okay, that's it. I really just need to conserve my energy, so that's it. That's all I'm doing. Elevating threat level to legit crazy. Legit crazy? We've got seven minutes. We need to do maters, like right now. To my knowledge, no one, no one has ever done three rides at DCA during early entry. I want to be the first one to do it. I'm gonna be taking my time. I don't have the energy for this. We have like six minutes to do maters. Okay, so we're gonna be on the next rotation. I think rotations take like two minutes and 15 seconds. That plus the rotation that it's gonna take us to do. That's four minutes and 30 seconds combined with like load on load off time. Rope drop is probably gonna be happening as we are getting off this ride. This is so crazy. I've never seen any video though where people have done this many rides in early entry. I always forget how crazy this ride is. It's like actually, oh my God. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, there are people rope dropping right now. Like literally, here. There's people literally rope dropping right now. We actually did that. Three rides at DCA in 30 minutes. It's eight o'clock on the 801. It took us 31 minutes to do that. That's impressive. <laughs> All right, so this time around, I figured the best course of action would be to ride every ride in a more sequential order to save time on walking distance, which means after the 8 a.m. rope drop, we need to land wipe Cars Land by riding Luigi's Rollick and Roadsters and Radiator Springs Racers before heading over to Pixar Pier to do the rides over there. Only issue is that these two rides have a tendency to break down at the beginning of the day, so our chances of sticking with this route are entirely up to luck. Once again, my name's Trevin, and this is Disneyland speed run part two please tell me luigi's is open right now it looks like it's open this ride always breaks down it always breaks down a rope drop i've been staring at the wait times for so long like if we can't get on this we would have to wait like 40 minutes at least for this ride we might actually be able to do this in less than five hours guys i'm feeling really confident jeffrey do you think that we could do every ride today i mean at least a lot quicker than we did disneyland oh no don't worry we're not it's not gonna take 12 hours this time because i got the lightning mcqueen croc with these lightning mcqueen crocs you too can speed walk like me ka chow this is amazing, you guys. This is, I'm so happy that this ride is open. This is, I'm sure, the most happy anyone has ever been to go on this ride. Whoa, oh my God. Okay, it's starting, we're going. This is such a janky ride. What are they doing? They're spinning us like weird. Okay, stop us, we're good. Okay, we're getting off now. We're not getting off, we're, <laughs> what is happening? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a lightning lane for Radiator Springs. We're the only crazy ones to pay $18 per person to do a lightning lane this early. So the plan after this is to hit Toy Story. And after Toy Story, we're just gonna knock stuff out at Pixar Pier. This is why we are gonna win. This is why we're gonna be able to do all of these rides in less than five hours because I have speed on my side. I am speed, ka -chow. <laughs> This is the relaxing part of the ride. This is my favorite part. We just chill. Fifth ride of the day, fifth ride of the day. Whoa, dude, that waterfall is so cool. Ah! This is terrifying, actually. Uh oh, the cops found us. This is not good. They're gonna arrest us. We're going too fast. We've done too many rides too fast. Oh, hey, what's up? 
<laughs> Bring in new tires. Pain does nothing, but good tires, good tires will do it. Thank you for your ride being open, Luigi. This car is so going down. We have the McQueen trucks, they light up. You're going down! You're going down! Let's go! Woo! Oh my god! Oh, they beat us! No, they beat us! Oh! Nah, who cares? We're still gonna beat them at most rides completed in one day. We're all winners. That's what McQueen said. I agree. I agree. Personally. McQueen's lying. <laughs> five rides down, 14 more to go. Can we do this in less than five hours? We'll see. We have to walk all the way to Toy Story, so it's gonna take a bit. I really think we're doing so good though, because we're going like right on schedule with what my plan is. And my plan has us ending at like maybe four hours, 15 minutes. But that's if everything goes right and something's gonna go wrong, like inevitably. I'm not gonna lie, this challenge is gonna be much easier than Disneyland because there's only 20 rides here. So to make up for that, we're emphasizing a five hour time limit. We wanna get this done before lunchtime. Which is why we're heading over to Toy Story so that we can use up our current lightning lane and be able to book another one. I'm so scared that we're gonna get rolled so hard by the Monsters, Inc. and uh, Soren Fast Passes, so we kind of just need to get on Toy Story right now. Okay, we're booking for Soren right now. Every ride in the Pixar Pier area is going to have a relatively low wait since it's still early morning, so that's why I booked a Fast Pass for Soren way over here, even though we won't be riding it for a little bit. You want to do like what we did last time where it was like whoever gets less points on this ride has to buy the other one an expensive piece of Disney merchandise? Yeah, sure. Okay, all right. Hey, I know what I already want. You, how expensive is it? Because last time it was really expensive. Just a spider bot this time. Okay, that's I think at least like $60. So I'm gonna be trying really hard. <laughs> it's freaking Toy Story time, dude. We are going on this ride. And I'm about to beat you so that I don't have to spend $60 or however much it costs on a freaking, okay, I gotta go right now. are not looking good for me. This is scary. What? How did you beat me that much? Oh, I, have to buy a, I have to buy a spider bot now. Dude, come on. <laughs> The Ferris wheel is two different rides. I don't care what anyone says, the Disneyland website says it is two different rides. We need to go on swinging and then non-swinging. Bro, what do you know? It's a freaking walk-on. There's no one in line. Dude, thinking about that spider bot though is really killing me. Disneyland is just so expensive. The tickets to get in are so expensive, the, the hotels. And I, I just empathize like so much with people who've never been to Disneyland. And that's why I want to talk to you about my affiliation with Getaway Today. Okay, I know you really want to skip this ad read, but I'm not even baiting you. Something insane happened in the middle of us filming this, so please do not skip. Oh my god. Okay, whoa, whoa, hold on. I'm trying to tell you guys about Getaway Today, but we're like actually swinging right now. This is so terrifying. Getaway Today is a travel booking agency that will allow you to save big time at Disneyland. Whoa, dude. Oh my god. Whoa. But it's not just Disneyland. You can, you can use Getaway Today on... I can't think right now. Hold on. But it's not just Disneyland. You can use Getaway Today to save big time on Universal, SeaWorld, Legoland, and even Disney World in Florida. Are we are we going to chill out here? I want to finish up my ad read. Do you need a motion sickness bag? No. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. To my defense, I 100% thought he was joking. Just link in the description. Right, give me the bag. Give me the bag. Are you, wait, seriously? Oh, after this, we can stop by, like, if you need to use the restroom or something. I don't care. We can stop the run. I don't care. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't... Oh, no, uh, no. I didn't sure. think I was going to get this bad. Is this the line for non-swinging? Yeah, but this is the line for Okay, can we just get in right here? Yeah, okay, awesome. I'm so sorry. You're feeling bad? Okay, thank God. I'm so sorry. Dude, I, oh, I feel no, bad. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Unfortunately, Jeffrey pukes on the My swinging Ferris the swing. wheel. But you you're feeling out. fine, right? Yeah. He is feeling fine. If you click the first link in the description and book a vacation with at least two nights at a hotel and two days at a park and use the code TREB10, you can save 10 extra dollars. That's $10 off of what you're already saving. First link in the description, code TREB10, save big time on your vacation. We have come to a temporary stop. What? Please stay seated. Are we going back? Wait a minute. No. 
No you were way. Joking about this. I was just joking about this before Toy Story. Something big is gonna happen. <laughs> the worst thing, the worst possible thing that could happen is like we get stuck on the Ferris wheel. Amazing video though. I got stuck on the Ferris wheel. It would make for a good video. All right. The good news is if, well, how do we even get evacuated off this ride? They gotta bring a whole ladder. The good news is if yeah, how. Please stay seated. Your journey will now continue. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. So all that stress for nothing. <laughs> That was terrifying. Eight rides down, 11 more to go. Look at the ducks. <laughs> that's, a, that's a hashtag cute moment at Disneyland. It's not about how long the wait time says it is. It's about how long the line actually looks. Um, but 10 minutes is still really good, but it could be more like five minutes. Oh dude, that's a walk on. An hour and 51 minutes in means we have three more hours to do 10 rides. So two hours to do nine rides. So I think that's totally possible. Gone. The baby's gone. What? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> cookie, I want that cookie. <laughs> oh no, not the loop. Oh dude, we're so dead. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, we did it. I need to catch my breath right now. That was crazy. After Incredicoaster, we had just a few more rides to knock out at Pixar Pier, starting with Jesse's Critter Carousel. Okay, this is perfect. The rotation just stopped. I'm gonna go on this dude. Look at him. Look at this goofy dude. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Wow, okay, that was really good load on time. Did not take long at all. I think this is like one of the first times I've ever gone on this ride. Maybe the second time in total. 10th ride of the day. 10th ride of the day. We're doing so good, dude. We're only two hours and seven minutes in. We're doing so good. Oh my God. Such a peaceful ride, honestly. This is such a nice solo ride. We're getting off right now. The exit is literally right next to me. So Jeffrey's not gonna go on these rides. That's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and just go on all these rides. This one's not moving. So there are probably loaded people on. We, okay, we might have to wait for a rotation for this one. Oh, but there's no one in line. Okay. As I was getting on the 11th ride of the day, I started to question if my five hour time limit was difficult enough. We can maybe even do this in like less than four hours. Like four hours, it's possible. So the emotional whirlwind is finally lifting off. It is, it's finally lifting off. These next like three rides are all spinning rides. Are we getting off already? The emotional whirlwind is about to end. So stay The emotional whirlwind is about to end. What was that, 11? 11 rides down, okay. We're doing good. So as a part of my speed run rules, you have to eat a meal every five hours. So this right here is what I hope I don't have to eat. So let, let's keep going. We got to go right now. And as we got on Silly Swings, I decided to officially change our five hour time limit to a four hour time limit. It's time to be a little bit silly and go on the Silly Swings. All right, folks, storms are coming. All right, what's the wait times right now? This is where we can really choose which one we want to do first. I'm gonna do single rider for it. Okay, so we're gonna go on Goofies now. We're doing single rider. It's like a 10 minute wait though, so we should be fine, honestly. It shouldn't even be that long. Oh yeah, look at this. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, awesome, thank you so much. That was so lucky. <laughs> yeah, I'm making a YouTube video. <laughs> I'm riding every ride in this park today. Uh, this is ride number 13, I think. Whoa. Yeah, we, we've gone crazy. <laughs> All right, this is this is a goofy ride. Oh, oh my God. This is, <laughs> these turns are so bad. Oh, it turns already on. <laughs> okay, this is the fun part of the ride. Whoa! This ride just abuses you. Wow, okay, well that's ride number 13 complete. <laughs> that was so fast. I just walked in line. Like, literally, it waited like one minute. Actually, I only waited 20 seconds. You can tell that I was not expecting this by the look on my face. As I learned that day, there's apparently a glitch in the Disneyland speedrun game the devs haven't patched yet, where if you go through the single rider line on Goofy Sky School, you can eliminate any wait time associated with the ride. I call it the Goofy Skip. Dude, 
That is probably the fastest like I've ever done Goofy. That is the fastest I've ever done any ride. That was so fast. I just walked on. I don't know how I did it, but I just I walked on. Said, he's already on. <laughs> that was so crazy. Let's get in this line. Okay, we're doing Jumping Jellyfish next. This is ride number 14. I just did the, the Goofy skip. The Goofy Sky School skip. I didn't think it was actually going to be this fast. I'm like shocked. I thought, I thought we were going to have to wait 10 minutes for this ride. We're about to just walk on it. And we're off. We are jumping right now. We're currently jumping. Whoa, okay, this is actually a really cool view. Such a fast ride. Such a fast ride. Now we're doing Little Mermaid. And Dude, dude, I think we could do this in less than four hours. I less, that might be pushing it. We're heading on uh, Little Mermaid, the ride that recently got Lightning Lane, but we're not even doing Lightning Lane. We can just walk on it as it should, as it was intended to just be walked on. Anyways, there's gonna be a lot of copyrighted music on this one. I love this. I can't play any of this music or else Disney's gonna kill me with copyright. So enjoy this royalty-free dance music over it. This royalty-free music is so good, isn't it? Wow. Was that 15 or was that 16? So we really only have four more rides. There's 20 rides in the park. We just got done with the 15th one. Because of the wind speed, Golden Zephyr is just not gonna open today. We have Grizzly River Run, Sword Over California, the Red Car Trolley, and uh, Monsters Inc. You may be wondering what day we did this since we've barely waited in line today. And the answer is, after hours of research, I concluded that the very end of the holiday season is the best time to go, January 7th. It's literally a walk-on, bro. This is so crazy. I knew, I knew that today Today was gonna be a not busy day. I just knew it when I booked today. 10, 18 in the morning and we're doing Grizzly River Run. Oh God. Okay, we're gonna get wet. Like I'm so, <laughs> we don't wanna get the Crocs wet. I gotta put my feet up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. oh my God. Jeez, that is loud. Dude, this is my first time on this ride. It is? Yeah. It's Let's just say you're gonna get wet. Wait, oh, uh, we're going sideways. Oh no, I'm back. Ah! Okay, that wasn't that bad. I spent so much on these GoPros, please. They're waterproof, but not with the media mods on. Oh my God, no. No, 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 no. Ah! Okay, Soren is next. Okay. Oh, Sarah, sorry, stay seated. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm getting bullied by the cast member, but like, deservedly. That was, that was deserved. Okay, it's 10.28 right now. If we can get this done before 11.30, we literally will like do this in less than four hours. Once we got to Soren, we could finally use our lightning lane that we've been saving for a while. And as I found out, our luck with getting a lightning lane for Monsters, Inc. was very generous. So I'm gonna book for Monsters, Inc. That's the last lightning lane we're gonna need to book today. What time is it? 10.30? And this is 10.30. Oh. It's too easy. It's just too easy. I was expecting the return time to be like 11 something. It's 10.30 right now. The return times were 10.35. Like it's just too easy. If we really start pushing right now, we can probably do this in less than four hours. We've got 38 minutes. We just need the red car trolley and Monsters, Inc. So we have to track down wherever their trolley is and just hop on it. So for the red car trolley, in order to consider the ride complete, you have to start at either the DCA entrance stop or the Hyperion theater stop and travel the complete trolley line one way. It would be super helpful for us to begin the ride at the DCA entrance so that when we get off at the Hyperion theater, we are in the perfect position to make a mad dash for our final ride. Monsters, Inc. However, this is all dependent on where the single operational trolley is in its rotation, so we need to track it down. We're just gonna see where, whatever direction it's going in, we're just gonna follow it. I'm not seeing it right now. Okay, we're gonna look down this street to see if it's over here. Where is this freaking trolley? It's not there. I don't see it. We can either get on it way over here or it's coming oh, it's right back. There, it's right there. Oh, okay, Lynn, let's, okay, never mind. I think our odds are looking really good because it's gonna drop us off right next to Monsters Inc. We're gonna hop on Monsters Inc. And then boom. It's okay, so, so 25 minute wait with Lightning Lane. Look at that, maybe at worst 15 minute wait. And then this trolley should take like 10 minutes. We might barely make it. Do you think we can do this in less than four hours? Maybe, we're gonna be pushing it. We'll see. 
Now we are coming into Carthay Station. This is our courtesy stop here, our first one, guys. Our next stop is Hollywood Station. This is our final stop, guys. We're going to flip our ball and head on a trip back to the main entrance. Watch your step. Oh. I was waiting at the other one. We have 20 minutes to do this. It might be possible. It might just be possible to do this in 20 minutes. I was not expecting to do it this fast, but we're heading on the last ride of the day. There's no line for the lightning lane. So we got this. We're going to do this. Easy dub. Easy dub. We did it. <laughs> Let's not celebrate yet, but I think we're totally going to do this because I think it's like a five minute wait. It's like a five minute wait here and it's like a six minute ride. So like we got this in the bag. As we rode the final ride of the day, it really dawned on me just how amazing California Adventure is. Sure, maybe it isn't as imaginative or original as Disneyland, but if there's one thing you can't do at Disneyland that you can at DCA, it's experience the entire park before lunch. Time. Okay, dude, this is it. Golden Zephyr is still closed, mm -hmm. so this is it. Once we exit this, three hours, 51 minutes, and 25 seconds. Wow. Against all odds, we did that. We failed in the last speed run so that this one could succeed. We we did it. We actually did it. I am now the certified Disneyland and DCA speed run pro with the DCA final time of three hours, 51 minutes and 25 seconds. I just want to say shout out to Jeffrey for sticking with me through the whole time, even after like throwing up. I owe you a spider bot now, don't I? Also shout out to my cousins. They're my biggest fans. I know you're watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified the instant I post the both parks in one day speed run, which is next up in the Disneyland speed run series. See ya.